Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes dev vlog video and this week I'm hoping to finish off the engine for Equilinox. It's actually already 3 o'clock in the afternoon, um, I haven't really got much done today because I had to sort a few things out this morning, go shopping for food and I didn't get up very early because I got back pretty late last night uh, from Wolfsburg where I was staying over the weekend with some friends. But I'm back to work now. Um, this morning I did a little bit of work on tidying up the batch rendering system that I was working on last week. And I'm hoping to move on pretty soon to the water rendering system, which will be quite interesting because it's got to kind of match the low poly art style of Equilinox. And I've got a few ideas of how I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of excited to try that out. So I finished off tidying up that code that I was working on. And now I've moved on to planning out how I'm going to implement water. And I've got a bit of a diagram here to show you how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to generate a grid of vertices first, uh, which will act as the water surface. Then in the vertex shader, I'm going to try and generate some waves um, using probably a sine function. Um, then I'm going to generate reflection after rendering the scene to a cube map, which is something I haven't done before, but um, hopefully it won't be too hard. And then refraction, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do yet, uh, but I'm doing a bit of kind of research at the moment, trying to find out how water um, actually refracts light in real life. And then I'm going to see if I can uh, model that in Equilinox somehow. I've started work on programming the water now. Um, so as you can see here, I've generated a quad, um, which is going to be the water surface. And this is just generated from a grid of vertices, as you can see here. And I'm now going to do some work in the vertex shader to try and make this water wave around a bit. Just finished off implementing some very simple waves for the water using just sine and cos functions. And now I'm going to do a little bit of work on the lighting of the water. So I have now implemented diffuse and specular lighting on the water. Um, but as you can see, it doesn't really look very good. Um, and that's because of the way that I've generated the mesh for the water. So I think I'm going to stop for dinner now because it's half past seven and I will have another go at this tomorrow. It is Tuesday morning. It's another pretty gloomy and dark day here in Berlin. And today I'm going to have another go at implementing water. So this is my first attempt at water today and um, it's certainly something, but it's definitely not water. Second attempt at water today and it's a slight improvement on the first attempt, but it's still not really something I'd want to swim in. It is coming up to lunchtime now, and as you can see, I have now got the water doing what I want it to be doing, and it's got some nice lighting on it, so that's all good. Um, but this was actually pretty complicated, it took me quite a while to get working, uh, because obviously in order to do lighting calculations, I need normals, but the normals are changing every single frame, because I'm changing the positions of the vertices in the vertex shader. So I needed to calculate the normals in the vertex shader, but that was a bit tricky, because when you want to calculate the normal of a triangle, you need to have you need to know the position of each of the three vertices. Um, and in the vertex shader, obviously, you only know the position of the one current vertex. So what I had to do is when I was sending information about each vertex to the vertex shader, I had to include a little bit of extra information. So I sent a X position, a Z position, and the Y position obviously is calculated in the vertex shader. And I also sent a one float code and this code has information about where the other two vertices in the triangle are relative to that original vertex. And then based on that, it can calculate the normal vector. And then based on that, it can calculate the lighting. And as you can see, that is now all working. Just about to stop for lunch now, but as you can see, I've added the water into the world and it's already looking kind of cute. It is half past 10 now and I'm just about to finish off for the day. And this evening, I didn't really do that much more. I just did a little bit more work on the water function, trying to get the waves looking a bit more realistic. And I've also been going through my code and doing a lot of commenting because the code is one of the Kick um, not Kickstarter, Patreon rewards. And so I want to make it as readable as possible. Good morning, everyone. It is a very cloudy Wednesday morning. And today I'm going to be doing a bit more work on the water. This morning I've just been working on improving the quality of the water. Um, so for a start you can see that the edges of the water are now very soft and pretty much unnoticeable. 
And also, it's a bit harder to see, but there's actually some refraction going on, so you can see the trees kind of wobbling because they're under the water. And I'm just about to start work on reflection. It is just past four o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm pretty much finished with the water now. Um, as you can see, I've added reflections to the water, and there are a few depth effects going on as well. So now I think I've just got to do a few optimizations, and then I can move on. So for the rest of the day, I've just been optimizing the water and trying to make it look as good as it possibly can. Um, but also, I got a tiny bit distracted this evening, and I started playing this new game called Kingdom, which just came out today. And I don't often play games these days, but this one looked kind of interesting and it caught my eye, so I thought I'd give it a go. Good morning everyone, and welcome to another pretty cloudy day here in Berlin. And today I'm going to be trying to add shadows into the world. So it's actually already the end of the day, I kind of forgot to record today, so sorry about that. Um, but as you can see, the shadows have now been implemented, which was pretty easy because I could pretty much just copy the code from Soccer One. And also I've been working on a couple of new models, for example this rock model here. And also, if you look carefully in the water, there are a few fishes swimming around. Good morning everyone, and welcome to a sunny Berlin morning, which makes a nice change. And today I'm going to be working on the devlog video. It is coming up to 3 o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, I've just had my lunch, and I've also just recorded and edited together all of the audio for today's devlog video, which finally worked with my microphone on my new computer, which is good because recently um, I've always had to use my laptop to do the recording because I couldn't get my microphone to work properly. Um, but I messed around with some of the settings, and that's all working now, which is great. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to record the footage. So it's the end of a long day, and the devlog took quite a while today, but it is now finished, and I'm just putting it live right now. It is now 20 to 2 in the morning. Um, I've just spent most of the evening answering comments and emails, but it is now time to get to bed. Good morning everyone, it is a very nice bright and sunny Monday morning and I've got a lot to do this week because um, my sister's actually coming to visit me on Saturday so I need to get all of this week's tutorials and devlogs done before Friday. Um, I've got a behind the scenes to do and I've also got a text rendering tutorial which will take a couple of days probably. And on top of that, next week I'm going to be releasing an early version of Equilinox to the Patreon supporters. So I need to get all of that sorted out this week and as much progress made as possible. Um, today I'm just going to be working on tidying up the shadow rendering, the water rendering and the text rendering which I actually worked on yesterday um, and I'll show you more about that later in the day. This morning I've just been doing a bit more work with shadows and I've been allowing for the dynamic objects in the scene to have shadows such as these sheep here. Um, also at the top of the screen you can see an example of the text rendering system that I was working on yesterday and this actually uses something called uh, signs distance fields um, which is something that I hadn't used before but it allows you to do some very cool stuff in the shaders uh, it allows you to create glowing text or outlines to your text very easily uh, but it also allows you to create much higher quality text especially when you're rendering very large text which would usually look very pixelated if you were just scaling up um, one of these characters from a texture atlas, but with the sign distance fields it allows you to create some very nice smooth anti-aliased edges. For the rest of the morning I've just been tidying up the text rendering system and I'm hoping to set up quite a flexible system which will allow me to easily add uh, outlines to text and have glowing text whenever I want. Um, and now I'm just stopping for some lunch. This afternoon I've been doing even more work on the text rendering system and I've been implementing support for outlines to text and you can see an example of a red outline being used here um, but I think I'm going to stop now and I'm going to answer emails for the rest of the evening. It is Tuesday and this morning I've just been implementing text rendering in the tutorial engine in preparation for this Saturday's text rendering tutorial. It is Wednesday morning and yesterday turned out to be a little bit of a disaster in the end because I really didn't get much done. Uh, unfortunately it was just one of those days where I didn't really have any motivation to do anything and I just ended up taking the afternoon off which was probably a good idea because um, I haven't really had a rest for a while. So I took a bit of a break yesterday but today I really need to knuckle down and get back on track because I've got a couple of videos to get done and I've got to finish off. Um, getting Aquilinox prepared for the 
Patreon release next week. It is 20 past 4 now and today has been a lot more productive. I've been implementing the text rendering into the tutorial engine, which I have now done. Uh, I've just been going through it again and planning out exactly what I'm going to show when. And I've also been scripting my explanations a bit for the tutorial. And this evening I'm going to be working on this week's behind the scenes devlog video. It is just past 9 o'clock and I've been working on the tutorial all day today, but it's going pretty well and I should be able to finish it off tomorrow without too many problems. So uh, I've stopped for some dinner now and as you can see today I'm having a ham and cheese omelette and this is probably the best one I've made. I've been making quite a few of these recently, um, trying to get a bit better at them and I think this one went pretty well. And I've also got some spinach which looks really unappetizing but unfortunately I didn't have any other vegetables in the fridge today so spinach it is. It is the end of another day and I've really just been working on the tutorial all evening today and there's still quite a lot to do, it's quite a long tutorial actually um, which I wasn't really expecting but I should be able to finish off at least most of it tomorrow. Good morning everyone, it is Thursday morning, it's already 12 o'clock and this morning I've been writing this huge long explanation for this week's text rendering tutorial. Just stopping for my usual salad for lunch now and I've also been recording all of the audio for this week's tutorial and I've just finished editing it all together. It is coming up to 6 o'clock and I'm still working on the tutorial, I've actually still got quite a lot to do because there are a lot of diagrams to draw this week, um, but hopefully I can finish it off today or tomorrow morning. It is 20 to 12 now and I'm still working on the tutorial actually, I've still got a little bit to do but I will definitely be able to, I have to finish it tomorrow, um, and also tomorrow I'm going to be working on the behind the scenes devlog video but I've done a bit of that this evening as well, so um, hopefully I can get it all done tomorrow, but yeah, I'm going to get to bed now. So that is it for this week's behind the scenes devlog video and I thought I'd finish off with a nice autumny view from my balcony. If you'd like to help support the channel then you can check out my Patreon page and you can follow the development of Equinox on any of my social media pages, all of the links are in the description below. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a fantastic week and I will see you all next time.